Hi, welcome back to our broadcast. You know, I was reading in Isaiah chapter 3, and as I read this, this just this just sprung up within me because, you know, I, I feel like I'm probably the least qualified to tell anybody, you know, how, you know, you need to get involved and you need to do stuff. I'm not involved in politics. Uh, I'm not a, 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 some, most of it I don't even understand, you know, things that they do, but the one thing I do understand is I understand a relationship with God. I understand a relationship with my heavenly father and I lean on him because in my own self, I can't do anything apart from him. I am, I'm not a good dad without him. I'm not a good husband without him. I'm not a good friend without him. And there are so many things in, in, in this life that I, I, I feel like I fail at and I try to help people. I try to do what's right. I try to do good and I fail all the time. But I always come back to the one thing that God is on my side. God loves me even in my weakness. He loves me in my inability to, to, be, a, to be good at, at a lot of things. He loves me he doesn't love me because of what I can do for him. He just loves me. And you know, our world needs to know this love of God. Our nation needs to get back to, to bringing God back into our nation because God is love. People are crying out and they're, they're trying to find themselves. They're, they're trying to find acceptance in all these crazy things. And, and there's what all these identity things that they don't, they're trying to fit in. They're trying to find themselves. They're trying to, you know, feel good about themselves. And the truth is, if they come to God with, if they just come to him, he has already accepted me. He's not turning anybody away. But, but when we try to live our life apart from him, there is darkness there. There's emptiness because it can only be filled by a relationship with him. And when I'm struggling, when I want to, you know, Lord, our nation, it, it seems like that, you know, everything's going crazy. Then I read this verse in, in Isaiah chapter three, when it's talking about all this judgment, all this judgment coming against Judah because their wickedness and they, they're, the evil things they're doing. They don't trust the Lord. They're, they're not obeying the Lord. They're worshiping idols and they're, they're killing innocent children. They're sacrificing children to idols and all of these evil things and they're, they're going chasing after other gods instead of the one true God throughout all of their, their uh, existence has led them and taken care of them and provided for them and they're running after something else. But then he goes on to say in verse 10, tell the godly that all will be well for them. Tell the godly that all will be well. And that's what I run back to. And we're coming up on an election in our nation and we need people in there that will follow after God, that will, that will do the will of God, that will take our nation in, you know, back to the place that it belongs as a godly nation. This, you know, and I'm, I'm outside of Dallas, Texas. You can see the flags flying behind me. We need God back in, in, Put back God back in His rightful place, not take Him out of everything and and put Him to the side and and push Him aside because people are coming in. We don't want to offend people from another nation because they worship some other way or don't believe in God. We are the we believe in God. If they come to our nation, fine, but you know, to, to try to take God out of the school and prayer out of the schools and, and take God out of our government because we don't want to offend somebody from another nation. This is who we are. If you want to come here, fine, but know and understand we are a Christian nation. We believe in God. We believe in prayer. We believe in having a relationship with God Almighty through Jesus Christ. We're not giving that up. We're not turning to anything else. There is nothing else. Nothing else works. Everything else fails. You can, you can worship some idol, but it won't talk back to you. You know, all of these weird, strange things. And, and you know, we don't want to offend people, hurt somebody else's feelings. But we need God in our life, in our nation, in everything that we do. In the end, Jesus Christ is coming back. And all that's going to be left is the kingdom of heaven. There will be nothing else. 
every person that's ever lived on the earth or will ever live will stand before Almighty God. Not Buddha or Baal or any other weird uh, idol or, or some kind of God. They're going to stand before God, the creator of the universe. And they can say, well, I don't believe that. Well, it doesn't matter. When you stand there, you're going to be a believer. But I don't want to be a believer when it's too late. And But we as believers, we need to get back on our faith and believe God for this nation. Believe God for righteous people to get into to the offices that are making laws, that are making the guidelines for this nation, that we as um, in America will once again be the strongest nation to get the gospel out. Not that we need everybody else coming to America to give us the gospel, but, but that we will get the gospel out. This nation was founded to worship God. And I, that's the one, you know, I may be scared and backward and timid and, and any, uh, a lot of other ways, but I refuse to not be a worshiper of God. I refuse to be some unbeliever. I refuse to, to, to give up on this word and give up on this book and say, well, I guess it doesn't work. I guess it's no good. I guess, you know, maybe I should listen to what they're saying. Maybe there is 300 or 400 or 600 identities or, or what all, all these confusing things. No, there's, or genders or whatever it is. All of these, we, you know, we can't turn away from what we know is truth just because times are difficult or times are hard. And so many times I, I want to crawl in the shell or I just want to go hide somewhere. But the truth is people need to know. And I'm willing to speak to anybody that is, that is longing or, or wanting a way out or people that are hopeless and they want hope. There are people that are still crying out and saying, nothing else is working. It's all failing. I don't know where to turn. But we have the answer. We have the solution that God loves you. He's not rejecting you, but you have to give your life to him. You have to allow, allow him into your life and allow him to be Lord and Savior. You've got to let him in, first of all. You've got to let him come into your life, recognize that you have a need for him, and that he and give him position or place in your life to say, okay, I'm not doing it my way anymore. I'm not going to just do my own thing. If you say it's wrong, then it's wrong. If you say to, to, to turn, I'm turning. If you say to, to give it up, I give it up. And I can do this with your help. But we have got to turn back to what we know is true, and that is God's word doesn't fail. God's word doesn't change. We are believers, and God has called the believers to stand up and to seek his face, to seek God's face for our nation, to pray. We're two months away from election. We as believers need to pray, 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 believe God, stay on our faith, and call in and declare, not pray in a with a wish. If you pray, well, I hope, then you don't believe that anything's going to change. If you're praying, if you're wishing something to happen, you don't believe that any there's any power in it or that anything's going to change. But when you pray, pray in faith that when we pray as believers around the world, call up people and and. Get them together and say, let's pray for our nation, your family members. Let's pray for the, the president that's going to stand in that position. Let's pray for the one that will be put in that office, that they will be righteous and godly, and they will lead this nation toward God, not away from him. This is what we have to do. We have to declare. We have to believe. And when we pray, pray in faith, declaring that the righteous rule, that God's uh, will be done in this earth, that the devil's plans be thwarted and every scheme of the devil will be exposed, that light comes, truth comes. We need the light to shine and truth to be revealed so that all of the lies and false things will be exposed, that the truth will come out and that people will see who God is and that this nation will once again stand in that place 
and be the righteous nation that God has called it to be, to declare him righteous and holy and the the king of all the universe and over every nation of this world, and tell the godly that all will be well for them. I'm not back, you know, I can back, I back up on a lot of things, but I will not back up off of who he is and who he is in me. Tell the godly that all will be well with them. So I believe that all is going to be well, that God has a plan. I'm in it, but we have our part to play because when we don't stand up and do what's right, then we suffer. We go through hard times. We go through things that God did not want us to go through. We have got to rise up, declare, and the way we do that is by prayer and fasting believing God and calling this nation back into its rightful place, calling this nation back to the righteousness, calling this nation back to its its place in God, calling our families back, calling the every person that we know that is connected to us, whether it's through uh, family relationships, whether it's our bloodline, whether it's friends, every person that we're connected to, calling them back into a place of righteousness, calling them back into the kingdom to live a godly life that this nation once again will rise up and be America that God had called it to be. We have to declare over this and begin to pray. We've got two months and we need to, if you're not, God's not calling you into an office, then pray for someone who's in that office or going to be in that office. And we need to do our part as Americans to vote, in these elections, not to sit at home and say, well, it's, it, you know, it doesn't matter. They're going to do whatever they want. We have got to stand up and be a voice and declare that we believe that God is God. He is our savior and that he is uh, the righteous ruler and that we are going to serve and worship and follow after him. Amen. Let me go ahead and end this in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for stirring up people and stirring up those that will that will be put in those positions, Lord God. We pray for every person that, Lord, you have moved upon their heart. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for people to come alongside them, to hold them up, to support them financially, Lord, and to get the righteous people in the offices to declare your word, to declare your works, and Lord God, to make guidelines and rules and, the, and, and change the laws, Lord God, for righteous sake and to, to for our nation to once again be that righteous nation that you have called it to be. Lord, we pray over America. We pray for the rulers and the, the leaders in our, in our uh, nation, Lord God. For all of the, those that stand in authority, Lord, the, the police officers and governors and judges, Lord, we pray righteousness over them. And Lord, if, if there are any ones that were refused to hear you, refused to serve you, refused to follow after you, Lord God, that they would be removed out of office in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our, the nation of Israel and Lord God, every other Christian nation that is rising up and for nations to turn back to you, Lord God, to turn their, their hearts to you and to, and Lord, not to turn away from you in Jesus name. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your will being done in this earth. We declare in the name of Jesus that as believers, as a voice in this nation, that God, your will be done in this earth. God, your will be done in this earth. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name that is above every name for rising up and causing godly people to rise up, Lord God, and to fill those positions. Godly people, Lord God, to, to build businesses. Godly people, Lord God, to build uh, buildings and, 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 and establish things, Lord God, for our communities and for the broken and for the hurting. Lord, for the widows and the orphans, for the, the, the oppressed, for the poor. Lord God, for people to, to teach people how to prosper, to teach them how to come out of a dark place, to how to, to, to leave a life of drugs, Lord, but that by the power of your hand, Lord God, to destroy the power of, of, uh, alcohol and drugs, that, that demonic influence, Lord God, that holds so many people in addiction. Father, we thank you, Lord, for, and we declare over them freedom in Jesus name. We declare over them healing, Lord, for their mind, their will, and or their, their mind and their emotions, Lord God. The suffering that's going on on the inside of the oppression, Lord, we thank you for touching them in the name that is above every name. And Lord God, for our nation, once again, to call you blessed and be the righteous nation in Jesus' name. <music>